how to install or master an OS on a mini PC. This is what I'm going to show you today. This is one of the best installation method and installation hardware to enjoy Omastan OS at its best. But if you still don't know which installation method, meaning Amazon OS, Amazon Docker container or else, and which installation hardware like mini PC, Raspberry Pi, virtual machine, I've made a video exactly guiding you through all of those installation methods to find what's the best method for you. So feel free to check it out. Now I wanted to talk about a point about mini PC that I didn't talk about in this specific video, which is what kind of mini PC is best for installing Amazon OS on. Feel free to skip that section if you want to jump right into the tutorial. So there are basically two types of mini PCs, Intel based mini PC and AMD based mini PC. So it's basically two CPU architecture that are a bit different without getting too much into the details. And I'll show you the basic key points about whether to use one or another. So this is the mini PC we're going to install Amazon OS on today. This is the AMD based mini PC. And basically the thing about AMD mini PC is that you're gonna get more power for the price. That's usually the thing that you consider when you buy a PC or when you create a PC. AMD processors are usually more powerful for the price tag that they have. And the main drawback, not for PC, but like for Amazon users, is that not all of the add-ons are gonna be compatible straight away. So I'm really talking about add-ons, not integration. All the integrations that are shipped with Home Assistant are going to be compatible with any Home Assistant installation. I'm talking about add-ons which are basically Docker containers and even though in theory Docker containers are to be shipped in a way that they are compatible with all the types of architectures, they are often shipped and test for Intel based architectures. It doesn't mean that you won't be able to install all of the add-ons that you want, but it means that you, it will take maybe some extra steps. Moreover, since usually you buy AMD based computers for the processing power, you may not want to run Omastan OS directly on it because it may be, at least in this case, for this specific PC, a waste of computing power because this thing is a beast. What I would recommend in this case, if you have this kind of mini PC that are quite powerful, which are like mini PC that people use even as their working station, is actually to use it as a home server and not only use it solely for Amazon OS, meaning that you would run something like a virtualization software or a NAS software like TrueNAS or maybe we recommend maybe Proxmox and run Amazon OS as part of a virtual machine and all of the, for example, add-ons that you wouldn't be able to run on Amazon OS directly. So talking about this specific PC that has been sent to me for testing and I thought it was the perfect moment to use it. This is the Nipogi AM06 Pro Mini and basically what you have to know is that it has Ryzen 7 CPU chip with up to 4.3 gigahertz, 16 gigabytes of RAM, M2 stick of 500 gigabytes, Wi-Fi 6, two USB 3 ports here, one USB-C here, an audio jack here and a microphone here, which makes it perfect to make your own voice assistant and replace Alexa or Google. On the back here, you have two LAN ports, which is excellent for a home server. You have a gigabyte port and a 2.5 gigabyte port, which is perfect for separating maybe your IoT network from your main network or any other uh, configuration type that you may have. You have an HDMI port as well as a display port and two additional USB ports. I'm gonna show you the interior of it. So as you can see here, you have the M2 stick of 500 gigabytes. You can actually just change it. It's made to be absolutely upgradable. Here we have one RAM stick of 16 gigabytes and you have another slot to add another RAM stick or directly change this one and put two other ones if you wish. Here we have a little ribbon adapter to put a SATA drive, so like a SSD or even an HDD directly. The adapter is provided in the box, I don't have it with me, but it's there. And that's basically it. If you want this particular mini PC, since this one has been sent to me, I managed to negotiate a cool discount code for you guys. Here you can already redeem some code depending on your Amazon store. I'm gonna leave the link for this mini PC in my bio and it will redirect you to the closest Amazon store based on your location. Here, as you can see, I already have used it. So basically for me on the Amazon French store, it makes it go from 344 euros to 200. 82 euros. For a beast like this, honestly, it's quite a good promotion code. So I'll leave everything under the description if you want it. And now let's move on to how to install Amazon OS on any mini PC. So what you're gonna need to install Amazon OS on your mini PC is basically your mini PC and a USB stick, at least 16 or 32 gigabytes to be at ease. The main process consists of flashing the hard drive or any 
type of memory that is within your mini PC, in my case it's the M2 stick, we need it to flush it with Omaston OS. For this we have two options. The first option is to directly remove the hard drive or the M2 stick, in my case, from the mini PC and flush it with another computer, but that's not everyone has the tool for this and it may be annoying. So the other way, which is the way that I'm going to show you today, it's not very complex, but it has a few steps, to be honest. I'm going to really walk you through all of this, so it's going to be super easy for you. Basically, what we're going to do is that we're going to install Linux Ubuntu on this, plug it inside the mini PC, boot from Ubuntu from this USB stick, download Omaston OS from the mini PC and flash the memory inside of the mini PC with Omaston OS. So first things first, you want to download Balena Etcher, which is a software that is available for both Windows and Mac. It will allow you to flash any OS inside your USB stick. So go ahead, download it and install it. And once it's done, move to the next step, which is downloading Ubuntu. So look for Try Ubuntu, click on the first link that you see on Google, click on Ubuntu here, anyway, we leave the link in the description and tap on Download Ubuntu Desktop. Make sure it's Intel and AMD 64-bit architecture and click on download. You don't need to sign up for anything, it's gonna download automatically. Once it's downloaded, open Balena Etcher, plug your USB stick on your computer, select the file that we just downloaded, so Ubuntu, then select the target, which is your USB stick, make sure it's the right size and don't mess up with any other USB stick you may have, select and then click on flash. It will last a couple of minutes depending on the quality of your USB stick, but hang in there and I'll see you on the next step. So once Ubuntu has been flashed on the USB stick, you want to go onto your mini PC. What you see here is the interface of my mini PC because it came with Windows, but I'm going to pretend that it didn't came with Windows, so I'm going to show you all the steps. And now we're going to modify the BIOS to make sure that it can boot Omastan OS. So usually what you need to do is to reboot your mini PC and when it starts, press on F1, F2, F10 maybe, or even the Dell key, that will prompt directly the BIOS menu for you. But on my side, I didn't find any key, so it's the perfect occasion for me to show you a trick to go directly into the BIOS from Windows. So what you need to go is press here on the Windows Start menu, and while pressing Shift on your keyboard, you're gonna click on Power and Restart. Your computer will reboot to this, you're going to go to Troubleshoot, Advanced Option, you're going to UEFI Firmware Settings, and click on Restart and now it's gonna reboot onto the BIOS. The first thing that we wanna do is make sure the UEFI boot mode is enabled. It's gonna be different for probably each computer, each motherboard, so make sure to check everywhere here on boot. Here it's already selected, UEFI. Next, we're gonna want to disable the secure boot option. So here, uh, security, secure boot, disable. Okay, it's already disabled, perfect, make sure it's disabled here. And now you're gonna wanna change the boot order. So since we're gonna be booting from a USB stick containing Ubuntu, what you wanna do is go into the boot option here and make sure to select the USB device. So this will prevent the computer from booting into whatever OS it might already have and make sure to boot directly from the USB stick. So now plug the USB stick onto the mini PC like this, go into save and exit, save changes and exit. Now it's gonna reboot, hopefully into Ubuntu, and we're just gonna be a little patient. So here apparently with the Ubuntu logo, it's showing us that it detected the USB stick, which is very good news. All right, preparing Ubuntu. Okay, so we have a nice, a nice interface, so might as well plug a, a USB mouse. Okay, choose language, English, we don't care. Okay, so we are on Ubuntu successfully. The next thing that you want to do now is actually connect your computer to the internet. So either go in the Wi-Fi setting somewhere here. Yeah, Wi-Fi, it recognized the Wi-Fi successfully. In some cases, the mini PC on Ubuntu might not detect the Wi-Fi chip that's inside. In that case, you want to plug the Ethernet cable to make sure that it's safe and that you have internet connection. So in my case, I'm just going to go ahead and connect to the internet with my Wi-Fi password. Once you're connected to the internet with your mini PC, you want to go onto Firefox and download the Omastan OS image. So go ahead and type Omassistant GitHub. Okay, refuse Omassistant here on GitHub, perfect. And make sure to go on the operating system repo, then onto releases here, Omastan OS 15.2, it might differ depending on when you're watching this video. And you're going to go down here and you're going to download this image, Omastan OS generic x86.64, the version of omassystem.emg. Tap on it. And now you just need to wait a little. While it's downloading, you can already go ahead here down below in show apps. 
utilities and disks. This is going to show you all the disks, whether they are internal or external. Okay, here we have the USB stick and this is the drive on which we're gonna install Amazon OS on. So let's go here, the three dots here, restore disk image. And we're going to select the Amazon OS that we just downloaded. So into the downloads, double click and click on start restoring. Are you sure you want to write the disk image to the device? All existing data will be lost. Yes, and we want to click on restore. Authentication required, authenticate. Okay, it's nothing. And now you just need to wait a little more for it to restore. So here it's done. If it's successful, you should see something like this with a few partitions here that are reserved to Home Assistant and the free space that is left on your disk depending on which hard drive you selected. Now you wanna close this and shut down Ubuntu. So let's go here here and power off, power off. Now we're going to remove the USB stick as prompted here and press enter. And now before doing the most crucial thing, which is booting up our mini PC with Home Assistant OS on it, you wanna make sure that you have an ethernet cable plugged into the mini PC or else Home Assistant OS won't be connected to the internet as when it first boots, it won't be able to prompt you for Wi-Fi password and credentials. It's absolutely mandatory. Make sure you have ethernet cable plugged in and we're ready to turn it on. So let's turn it on. The first boot is gonna take some time, so be prepared. So if you have on this screen, it means that the booting process was successful. Here you may have already an IP address here, as we can see here, IPv4 address for ENP3S0. We're going to go back to our main computer and type this IP address on our browser to see how things went. Okay, so this is the screen of our mini PC, and we're going to take a Chrome tab here and type the IP address that is written. You actually have two choices. You can either write home assistant at local semicolon 8123 or directly type the IP address. Me, I prefer writing the IP address so to make sure that um, we don't get any confusion here. Semicolon 8123. Okay, it worked perfectly. Here we have home assistant installed. What we need to do now is to initiate home assistant and the job is basically done. So here we can directly upload the backup if you already have a backup. You can tap on create my smart room, create a user, password here, create location. We're gonna keep the default one. Don't worry, by the way, if you put your location, it's absolutely gonna stay local. The only reason why it's actually asking you for your location right now is for weather services. So country, is in France, next. We don't care about statistics. And here, as you can see, it already detected all of the devices, all of the services that are actually running on our network. So yeah, click on finish and that's it. You have almost an OS running on your mini PC. As you can see, it's wonderful. You already have add-ons here. Let me go to the add-on store. And that's it, guys. This is how you install almost an OS on a mini PC, whether it's AMD or Intel-based one. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. I will gladly reply. And I'll see you on the next installation method. See you guys.